Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to the party. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm known as the Flip Flop Chef because I wear flip flops year round, no matter what the weather's like. I'm a Georgia girl who just moved to Florida in June of 2020, and I am so excited to be able to party with you online, and I can't wait to hear what you think about the recipe I'm gonna show you how to make, as well as the products. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys are some of the first people to have the opportunity to see this brand new grill and griddle from The Pampered Chef. I'm gonna be using this today to show you how to make spinach artichoke pizza, and I cannot wait to try it. This is actually the first time I'm making this particular recipe, so I will be cheating and using my cookbook along the way. But before we get started on that, I wanna go over some basic information. Once you've watched this video, please leave a comment letting me know that you've watched it. I'll give you a ticket in the drawing so that you can earn a chance to um, win a prize during the party. Um, the next thing I wanna let you know about is we have this new gorgeous catalog that features our Grill and Griddle on the cover. This will be linked in this party page. So if you just scroll down just a little bit, you'll be able to flip through the pages just as if you had this in your hand. Make your wish list and then you can shop the party. So be sure to look for the link to the catalog. The next thing I wanna tell you about are the specials for the party. So when your party, uh, excuse me, when your order is $80 or more, you're gonna be able to get for free a set of our flexible cutting mats. This is the small size that you'll be getting with your order as long as your product total is $80 or more. You get three different colors. Um, you can use these for different types of foods or you can just pick the one that you want. There's no reason um, to only use one for poultry and only use one for vegetables because these are dishwasher safe. So you just throw them in the dishwasher, they're really easy to clean. I have multiple sets of both the small size and the large size, which you'll see me use in just a few minutes when we get our pizza ready to go on the grill. But this is a free gift just for spending $80 or more. When your product total hits $150 or more, you're also going to get free shipping on your order. So that is such a great extra special when you're spending over $150. I want to mention that we have a brand new Seasons Best cookbook. This is $2 if you're not familiar with these cookbooks yet. Pampered Chef has a cookbook twice a year. Every season that we, every time we change our catalog for every season, you're going to be able to purchase a limited time um, cookbook. And these have become collector's items. Lots of people have been collecting these for 30 and 40 years. So they're full color. So if you haven't seen one in a while, they are beautiful. They make a great greeting card. So if you ever want to send somebody, somebody something more than just, um, um, just a greeting card that you get off the shelf. You can use the inside of the cookbook and it's a nice little keepsake too. So um, just those are just a couple of things that I wanna make sure you don't miss out on. So if you have questions during the video, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'm more than happy to answer those questions as we go along. Um, I'm gonna tell you about our grill and griddle, then I've got everything prepped so that we can make our spinach artichoke pizza. So let's go ahead and get started. Are you guys excited? I can't wait to hear what you think about this. So I've already got our grill and griddle plugged in and I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys can see this a little bit up more closely. So the cool thing about this, and right now this is not hot, so I'm gonna be able to show you some of the features before, we, before I preheat it and show you some of the extra plates that you can use with the grill and griddle. So <clears throat> as you can see, this lid can be closed all the way but it can also be adjusted. So you can adjust the height depending on what you're cooking. So if you have thick steaks in here or hamburgers, or if you're making paninis, you're not gonna have to worry about this squishing the food that you're cooking. So let me show you how you do this. So you're gonna slide this down. And on the side over here, you're not gonna be able to see that in the video, but there's just a little slider. Um, so that's in the locked position. And then you can adjust it once you open it all the way up to this height right here. So one thing that we're gonna be doing with our spinach artichoke pizza is we're gonna use like a hovering um, melting um, option for this. So look at this, you can sort of tilt this. Now if this is hot, then you wanna be a little bit careful not to touch under the plates there. But this will just hover over the cheese and the toppings on our pizza and it will melt it. So the cool thing about this is you can actually set the temperature for the top and the bottom grates differently. So they don't have to have the exact same temperature. I think that's really, really cool. So what I'm gonna do is just open this up and show you guys how you can change out these plates. So there's a little button right here on the side here and these plates just pop out. My favorite feature of this grill and griddle is that these plates are dishwasher safe. My second favorite feature is that there is a keep warm setting right here on the grill. So the other day I was using this and I made a delicious 
um, roast beef sliders recipe and my husband hadn't made it home yet and so I wanted to keep it warm until he was home so we could all eat together. So I just set it to keep warm and I left this lid um, sitting on the top of those sandwiches and it kept it nice and warm. It was just like they were just made and we all got to eat them at the same time and they were nice and hot. So um, the other uh, great, you can take it off the exact same way. I'm going to show you, you can actually lay this completely flat. Is that not the coolest thing ever? So let's just pretend that you want to use a griddle and a grill plate. So we're going to put the grill plate in here and you're going to get a set of griddle plates and grill plates with this grill. So we're going to slide this in. There we go. And you can press down and it can feel that it's kind of locked into place. So if you wanted to do pancakes or French toast on one side, you can do that. Or you can do bacon and sausage on the other side, or you can have two grill plates or two griddle plates. I'm gonna take this out because we're gonna use this with our griddle in just a minute. But I have to show you this. We have waffle maker plates that you can purchase as an add-on accessory to the grill and griddle. So what you would do is you would actually put in the top and the bottom for the pancakes, or excuse me, for the waffles. I love that these are a little bit larger than your typical waffle size, but you can cook two at the same time. So I have twin boys, they're eight years old, and um, only being able to make one waffle at a time just doesn't really work for our family. Um, we also have insulated bowls, so I can make them and put them in the insulated bowls and it'll keep them warm. Um, they won't be as crispy if you put them in the insulated bowl, so um, keep that in mind, but most of the time kids aren't gonna be so worried about that. So let me go ahead and put this back in, press that down, and I'm gonna move these plates out of the way. Y'all hang tight for just a second. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring this back up, and I'm going to close this down because we're gonna use this in the closed position once we get our pizza crust on there. And then we're going to um, change the height and kind of hover it. You remember how I showed you earlier? You can hover it so that it's not touching the top of your pizza, but it's going to melt the, the cheese and heat the toppings on the top. It's totally cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this just so that it's a little bit easier for me to operate at a better angle. So hopefully you guys had a chance to see it um, when it was turned the other way. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this, and like I said, I'm gonna cheat and use my recipe to make sure that I am doing this right because this is a brand new product and I wanna make sure that I don't miss a step. So for this one, we're gonna set it to grill. So the settings that you have are custom, which means you can set it for any time or any temperature that you like. Sear, perfect for steaks. Paninis, obviously for paninis, the grill, griddle, and the keep warm setting. Some of the buttons that we have on the top, time, temperature, top and bottom, so that you can adjust the top and the bottom temperature, which we're gonna do that for this recipe. There's a probe that comes with your, whoops, comes with your grill and griddle. If you're gonna use the probe, you just stick it in on this side here, and then you're gonna press the word probe. You'll actually insert this into your food before you put it on the grill. And you can adjust the temperature, so the internal temperature that you want for your probe. Um, so if you're doing steaks or hamburgers, set it for the temperature that you like your food cooked and it'll be ready to go. And it's gonna alert you when it is done, um, once it reaches that temperature. So I'm gonna set this aside for the moment and I'm gonna press cancel. What we're gonna do for this is we're gonna turn this to grill. So I'm just gonna turn this little knob if you have any of our other um, appliances like the blender or the air fryer or the quick cooker, all of our appliances work relatively the same as far as um, they're pre-programmed and they have a little easy knob that's, uh, that you just turn to the setting that you want. Its default time is five minutes. So when I press this, I can actually reduce this to just three minutes, which is what our recipe says to do. You're gonna press start and this is gonna start preheating. So while this is preheating, um, we're gonna get our pizza ready to go. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our ingredients. So let me move these over here. And I'm gonna start with some cornmeal. Let's see here. All right, so we're gonna start with some cornmeal. I'm gonna, this is a tablespoon of cornmeal. I'm gonna do half of that, so one and a half teaspoons of cornmeal, right over our, a little bit more, right over 
the top of my cutting mat here, and we're gonna use pre-made pizza crust. Pillsbury is a great one to use. So I'm gonna zoom in just so you guys can see a little bit more closely what I am doing here. The hardest part of my job is opening up these containers, um, or these packages rather. So we're gonna do one package. This is a thin crust, by the way. They do sell like a regular crust, but for this recipe, we're using a thin crust. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll this out right onto that cornmeal. I'm gonna turn it this way because I think it's gonna fit better on our, um, on our grill. If you need to use the baker's roller to roll this out, you can. All right, um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna get all the toppings mixed together while we're waiting on our grill to preheat. So I'll tell you what I've gone ahead and done. I used the Easy Read measuring colander, which has measurement markings on the inside, which I didn't need for this particular recipe. But if you ever needed to measure something and drain it at the same time, you do have that little added feature. Um, but I used this to drain both the spinach and the artichokes for this recipe. So I've got about a half a cup of frozen spinach that had time to thaw out and you're gonna wanna press out all the juice. So you just stick it inside of the colander and you can just press down with your fingers and drain that right into the sink. Same thing with the artichoke. So this is a half of the jar um, just because of the size jar that I bought. Um, you need about six ounces of artichokes and I drained those also in the Easy Read colander. I have two ounces of cream cheese um, I do not measure cheese in my house, <laughs> so um, I think the recipe calls for like two ounces of Parmesan cheese, so I just measured about three quarters of a cup, and then I have um, a, a whole eight ounce brick of mozzarella cheese, because if a little cheese is good, a lot is better, right? At least that's how I feel about it. I also have a half a cup of Greek yogurt. This is plain. Make sure you don't accidentally get vanilla. You definitely want to have a plain yogurt. And I've also got some garlic and I've got a garlic press um, over here as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to combine the, um, the rest of the ingredients in here. And I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the top of this with um, the rest of the cornmeal just so I don't forget. Um, I'm going to sprinkle the top of my crust just to make sure we have that on there. This is an easy step um, to forget. So we're gonna sprinkle some of that on there. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna combine the spinach. So remember, this is about a half a cup of thawed, drained spinach. We're gonna add to this the artichokes. So we have about six ounces of artichokes. We're only gonna put some of this mozzarella in, so about a cup of mozzarella. I'm just gonna give that, I'm just guessing. Um, if you're a measuring cook, I might stress you out just a little bit. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in, so we've got the, um, the spinach, the artichokes, I have the mozzarella cheese, we're gonna add the Greek yogurt, just press this out of our little measure all cup. I love this because, check this out, you can pull this plunger down to the, to the measurement that you need. So I needed a quarter cup, I packed it full of that Greek yogurt and I just pressed it right in the bowl, scraping it right off. So we're gonna mix in the um, yogurt. Oh, I was supposed to chop those artichokes first, you guys. I know I was forgetting something. So there's a saying at Pampered Chef, Pampered Not Perfect. Let me grab my salad choppers. We'll use that instead. All right, I was going to use <laughs> the Pampered Chef's food chopper, but instead I'm gonna use these salad choppers. They're double-bladed scissors. Um, you're gonna wanna chop the um, artichokes before you add them into the bowl. So for today, we're gonna use the salad choppers. I've been with Pampered Chef now for 22 years and I've done over 3,700 parties <laughs> and I still make mistakes um, just about every single time I do a demo, whether it's a recorded demo or in person. So don't stress too much if you're someone who misses a step. Um, one of the things I do recommend is always having your ingredients prepped out like I have here because then you're at least not gonna forget to add an ingredient into the recipe. So we've got our artichokes nice and chopped up now. Clean this out. It's a lot cleaner if you chop the artichokes um, without all of those other ingredients, but it'll still work. Okay. Um, so then I'm gonna add to this bowl, I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese and the cream cheese. So we'll add that in. Move 
move some of those out of the way. I'm gonna also add some garlic to this. All right, did you guys hear this um, real beep? You probably can't read this on the screen, but it says add. It's telling me that the um, grill is preheated to that 400 degrees that we want. And you can see we have this really nice, um, there we go, really nice smoking grill. So to put this on, let me smooth some things out of view here. I'm going to fold this pizza crust in half to make it easier to put on the grill. Oops. And that cornmeal actually helps it from, keeps it from sticking to the cutting mat and also from sticking to itself when I folded it in half. So you kind of want to press this, don't touch the grates because they are hot. We're going to press this in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this in the closed position. So all the way closed and we're going to press this button and it's going to start counting down. So we need like two to two and a half minutes on there. And so we're going to just kind of let that keep doing its thing. It's going to partially cook the crust. All right. Whoops. Sorry about my camera there. I'm going to finish mixing this together. And then this will be our topping for our pizza. I'm going to add some salt. So I'm using Pampered Chef's um, coarse Himalayan sea salt. I'm going to do about a half of a teaspoon of this. And then we're going to add that garlic that I mentioned before we added the pizza crust. Y'all, this smells so good. I'm so excited to try this. I will tell you, this is a recipe that no one else in my household will, will eat. So I will be reheating this in the air fryer um, for a couple days now. <laughs> I'll have lunch and snacks or dinner for days. All right, so I'm gonna add a garlic clove into the garlic crust. I'm gonna give this a nice squeeze here and then scrape off the side. And then you'll be able to just discard the garlic clove. Oops, excuse me, the garlic peel when you're done. So we're gonna do this again. I'm not peeling this ahead of time. Just pressing it through, scraping it off. And then our garlic press is, of course, dishwasher safe. All right. Mix this together. So two to two and a half minutes, and um, it will be partially cooked at that time. So I'm just kind of watching until we're down to like 30 seconds on here, and it'll be ready to go. And at that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the temperature of the grill grates. I'm going to set the top grill to, or the top griddle rather, to 480, excuse me, I said it backwards. The bottom grill to 480, the top will be to 250. So remember I was telling you we're going to melt this um, cheese on the top. And so I'm so, so excited about this. All right, we've got about 20 more seconds. And then we will be ready to um, add our toppings. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this. This is the most impressive product I've seen in a while from Paper Jet. It has so many cool features. So you guys are gonna love it just as much as I am. All right, so it went down to that 30 seconds. I'm gonna press cancel. And for this, to set the top, um, we're gonna do custom, which is what we have here. So you're gonna press custom. I'm gonna press the top bottom button. And the top is what comes up first. So I'm gonna set this um, to 480 for the top. And whoops, try that again. 480 for the top, and then it switches over to the bottom. And bottom, oh, you guys, hang on, let me open this so I don't cook it too much. It says pampered, not perfect, right? So top bottom, and we're gonna set to 400, whoops, top bottom. I skipped the step, it helps if you do it right. So cancel, we're gonna do custom, and I'm gonna set this for nine minutes, so I left off that step. Custom, and then I'm gonna press top bottom, and then the top is gonna be 480, and the bottom is gonna be 250. There we go. Get all the way down to 250 and press start. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop my um, spinach mixture right on the top 
and spread that out. So we're just going to put all of this right here. Spread it out on the top. If you like spinach dip, this is something that you are going to love. So we've got our partially cooked pizza crust. And you guys, I didn't mention this before, but there's a drip tray that um, goes right under here. Obviously we're not cooking something that's dripping, but like if you were doing hamburgers, which I did the other day, um, it was so great to just be able to pull out um, that little tray and discard all of the, um, the grease that was left behind. All right, so spread this out and then we're gonna top it with the rest of our mozzarella. Yum, yum, yum. And remember I told you I used a lot more um, cheese than the recipe calls for, because if a little is good, a lot is better. And this is one of our new coating trays, by the way. All right, get all that out and spread it around. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust this to the, um, the top melt position so i want it to be at the highest place and i'm just going to press this lay it down just like that so you see how it's just hovering over the cheese and let's see here yeah i got it all right okay cool so i'm going to let this cook for about seven to nine minutes and when it's done i'm going to sprinkle the top with some crushed red pepper flakes. This is totally optional if you don't want to do the crushed red pepper, um, but I'm definitely going to try it. I tend to make recipes the way that it says to the first time, and then if I want to make changes or adjustments, I do that when I make it again. So this is the Pampered Chef's new grill and griddle. I hope you guys loved this demo, and I wish you were here to taste this with me, but if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help you at any time. I look forward to talking to you more in the party. Have a great one.